Hey guys, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be going inside of this Goodwill behind me and it's super rainy outside. So that's why we're in my car filming this intro. It's literally, I don't know, it's been dumping rain all morning. So there's no one inside of Goodwill. There's like no one in the parking lot. So I'm really excited to go and thrift without having other people as competition, right? All right, let's go in and see what we can find. Oh, look at this shirt. <laughs> Little rails action. That's nice. What did she just take away? <laughs> That's always a real question. Also, I have the tiger playing right now. You guys can't hear it, but just want to let you know I'm ready. Mostly because of the song playing. They're nice Patagonia pants, but they're $20. So I'm going to leave those behind. Okay, I don't know what's in here. Nike basketball. There's a bunch of weird Nike stuff in here. Like, what is that symbol? I don't know. Wow, they're putting out a lot of stuff today. That's good for us. Find some money in here, please. A Wrangler shirt. Did you know that I grew up going to rodeos? But you didn't know that about me, Amanda. <laughs> yeah, I did. I was like a total country person. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I know how to line dance. No. Yeah, I do. <laughs> <sighs> I do. Fun fact of the day, these are cool. But they're ten dollars. I don't want to spend ten dollars on this. Okay, nothing on that rack. Let's go look at the shoes. Look at that cool bike. Oh my gosh. That's a cool bike. These are cool Sorrells for $70. So I'll leave you there. These are cool little Nike yoga shoes or dance things. The other day I came to the Goodwill and it was packed, like so packed. Ooh, look at these. These are just Steve Madden, but they're pretty cool. They're small though. Look at these. Look at that elephant. Bejeweled. Very Gucci-esque shoes. They're ten dollars. I'm not gonna buy them, but I like them. Um, the shoes are very, very picked over. Um, this brand, Bevel, I don't know, I'm probably saying that wrong, can do pretty good. I don't like the style of these though. These are very dated and the leather is really worn. Even if I put some like um, conditioner on that, that's not gonna ever come back to life completely. So, so I'm gonna leave those. But that brand can do good in certain styles. Let's see here, I don't really see much in the shoe department, which is a bummer. I just know I love the shoes. What's this? I don't know, something that I don't know. I'm not going to try and pronounce. <laughs> but I have a lot of shoes, so unless it's a winter shoe right now, I'm not, probably not going to buy it. Let's see him. These are cool. Oh, these are expensive. Where's the other one? Oh, no. We have to find the other one. I really like this shoe. Oh, this is sad. Okay, this is by All Black, which is a great brand. These are $20 and I want the other one. Hmm. It'll be a hunt. I, I never, they never don't have the shoes together here. Okay, maybe it's on this side. It's like a lighter color, right? Oh, this is so sad. Where are you? Shoe, excuse me. Pardon me, shoe, where are you? <laughs> Hi. This is a great brand. This shoe is super on trend, but I want it. So, um, but what are you gonna do? If it's not here, it's not here. Okay. My ADD brain does not like this. <laughs> uh, 
I don't know where the other shoe is. Oh, this is a good shoe. Shoes by Corso Como, size 11, $10. It's got this like kind of caged thing going on. I'm gonna buy these. Here's the brand. Corso Como, they retail for a few hundred dollars, brand new. Certain styles can do well. You wanna get the more like modern styles. Um, I wouldn't buy the older ones, that's for sure. Can you be something good? Ooh, there's some Halls um, cough drops in the pocket of this. Bonus. I'm trying to find the brand. Brand tag is missing on this, but it feels like a nice jacket. So I'm trying to find the brand, but it's just something cheap. Does this 15, what is this? Sort of a jersey? <laughs> oh my God, I heard you say, and I think it was yesterday's Yeah. That low rise jeans are back in. They are. I'll never go back. Well, you, I'll never. you know, they're here. I have to find some low rise jeans in here. I mean, I, I saw an influencer who was wearing one of those jeans where remember they would like cut off the top and it would just be this. <laughs> saw that recently and I was like, no, don't make that. I'm not, I don't want that for when my, Maybe by the time my daughter is a teenager, we'll have circled back. I've got a few years. I don't see any good jeans in here. Nothing low rise. You're a Pilates instructor and you don't even want to wear like low rise. No way ever. No rise, no way ever. She said three, really. Look at the, the row of coffee pots from the new coffee pots that Christmas brought. I bet the robe section is on fire right now, too. Did you guys see that video, the like Saturday Night Live where the mom gets the robe? <laughs> it was so good. Everyone else gets all the presents and she just gets a robe. It's relatable. This is cool. Someone obviously just put this patch on here, but this um, Levi's jacket is cool with the San Francisco Giants baseball patch, but I don't I don't think that's original. I think someone just put that on there. Maybe not. Actually, it's sewn on. Who knows? I'm not getting it. So our sweaters are almost out though. Like it's January, which means people are going to start buying summer and spring stuff literally any day, even though it's pouring down rain here in Portland. This is an anthro piece, an older anthro piece. You guys don't know this. The RN for anthropology and free people is 66170. So, um, Anthropology has like a ton of different labels. But you can always check that RN number to see if it's an actual anthropology piece. This Alan Payne sweater. Let me look this up. Oh, what? Okay. You don't see the tag at the top. Make sure you just check the seam. So these are very expensive sweaters. Um, it looks like secondhand. They can sell for around $100. So I'm going to grab it for $9.99. Uh oh, they opened a sweater or an umbrella inside. I'm superstitious. Did you know that about me? Oh, really? Yeah, I'm like, no, odd, no. I'm like oddly superstitious. Oh. Like I won't end a video on the 13 minute mark. I had no idea. Huh. Well, now I know that. Yeah, so I'm really worried. I'm really worried about this person over here. It's an older free people piece. We the free, um, and it's $12.99, so we're not gonna get it. It's nice though, it's really soft. Someone will like that for themselves, but not for reselling purposes. Mm -hmm. This is a very old Lucky Brand tag. Like very, very old, don't buy this. I don't even know where that's made and yeah, don't buy that. What? This is kind of cool. This is an old polo sport jersey for $7.99. I think I'm gonna buy that for sure. This is really cool. Large, yeah, come with me. Thank you. Someone on Depop would love that. I don't sell on Depop. Why am I telling you guys that? That doesn't even like make any sense. Someone on this site where I don't sell would probably love it. <laughs> so I turned my closet back on today. This, this is gonna date this, but that's fine. So I had my closet off for a couple weeks at the end of December and I turned it back on this weekend and I made some really good sales like right away. So that was nice. My first sell of the year was a like $150 vest that was given to me. So I'll take that. So sales are definitely picking up. I know a lot of us had slow sales in, what was it? December, 
thanks thanks <laughs> but uh but it's coming back around and it always does every year every year basically the same this is a big oversized free people but it's missing the size tag it's cute though nice cable knit very very cozy like i would want to wear this snuggled up but the size tag is missing and that always makes it really challenging so i'm gonna pass on it even though i don't want to these are cool um, under armor pants but they're 14.99 and they're just under armor leggings manufacturer suggested retail is 55 probably sell them maybe for 25 so gonna have to pass on those bad boys <laughs> Not finding much. Let's see here. I did recently come to the thrift and like kill it. I found so much good stuff one day. So I'm not too surprised that there's not that much right now because I was just here like a week ago and I went through the whole store. But things rotate very quickly. I know some people go to their thrifts like every day and just like look at the new stuff. These are older Lululemon pants. They're $14.99. Look at that split seam on the back. This is definitely a dated Lululemon piece. So we're going to leave this guy behind. Although flare, flare leggings are back. <gasps> Ooh, a Juicy Couture pants. Why are you so short? These are Juicy Couture pants. Look how short they are. I don't want those. I think I want the full length. These are nice. They're not half off. $10 cool pants. We love a good cool pant, but they're kind of flawed at the bottom. There's lots of spots and stuff on them. Here's a pair of Juicy Couture pants that are full length. I'm going to buy these. Ooh, is this another pair? Yes, two pair of Juicy Couture pants. I wonder if there's uh, the matching jackets because then we're really in the money. And I know you guys are all probably making fun of me, but you shouldn't because people are buying these. <laughs> Yeah, I don't want this. Every single person's grandma or mother had a goose kitchen. It's true, it's very true. We all had these white geese with the little blue bows on their neck. What? Hold on. <laughs> Even better. Hi, cheers. Look at this too. So you can literally cheers. What a great thrift store. Now this is all children's things. Which I can sometimes do well with children's stuff, but. Ooh. This American Girl Bitty Baby sweater that's brand new with tags. We're gonna grab that. Anything American Girl I will typically buy because this stuff is expensive. This isn't a kid stuff. This is just a, a very tiny Lululemon pair of leggings. Yeah, they're just a size two. <laughs> they're just small. That's what a small person looks like. Uh, $7.99, we're gonna grab these. That's perfect, look at that. Yes. All right, well, I am glad I came down this aisle. Clearly, I was meant to. Oh, do you remember when these were a thing? Like the crunched up, I think that's coming back with the low rise. I don't know if that's true. I just wanted your reaction really badly. Oh, yes, look at it. Does it say juicy? Oh, it doesn't. I don't have this pant. And a Lululemon jacket, look at that. Hi. And a, a heavy jacket for Amanda. Oh, look at this. Wife, boss, wife, mom, boss, with a weird zipper for no reason that actually works. That's not something I want. However, today I was looking, have you, there's like a new um, Instagram. It's like Zillow gone wild or something. Oh. You guys, there was um, <laughs> this like crazy, crazy 24,000 foot or 24,000 square foot mansion. And I did some digging because of course I wanted to be like, who owns this? And it was owned by some MLM dude. And I was like, wow. So you took the money from these women and 
built this house. Good job. Good job. Look at this zipper. It's a rhinestone zipper. In case you're wondering what it actually looks like when I thrift. Shiny? Squirrel? What's this? The jams are really here today though. What is this? What is that? I think that's that it clown, right? I don't watch scary movies. Scary movies give me horrible anxiety. I have to wa I have to like look up the end of a movie before I'll even sit down and watch it. Not like even exaggerating. <gasps> Ooh. No, I don't think this is a good one. This is like weird. This is a newer juicy tag. I don't want the newer one. I want that old classic crown juicy tag. Like this. Do I have the matching pants to this one? No, I don't. Darn it. Hold on. <laughs> you like it? Yeah, kinda. <laughs> Do you want to wear it? I am wearing Ugg boots right now, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're perfect. I really want the... <laughs> so there's like an Ugg that's really popular. You guys should know about this because it sells for a lot. It's the like ultra mini Ugg. Like, they're like very low boots, right? They're ankle boots. And I was like, Joe, I want to get these. And he was like, and I was, he was not into them. And I was like, what's wrong with these? And he's like, well, the point of wearing boots is to keep your like leg and foot warm. And that's clearly not going to do it. Like, what's the point of this? His practical side took hold. Ooh, that juice now some motherhood trigger. I bet this is Bowden. I would put money that this is a Bowden sweater. Tag is missing. Well, I don't think I found any matching juicy sets, which is really a shame. I was really hoping I would. Watch, I'm gonna buy all this juicy stuff and then like no one's gonna be buying it anymore. <laughs> what happened to me? Hmm. <laughs> All right, first off, I found this book. It says, People Buy You, The Real Secret to What Matters Most in Business. I'm just gonna read it. I like to read different people's opinions about things. So for $2.99, I'm gonna grab that for myself. And then I found the Bitty Baby sweater, definitely getting that for $7.99. And then I found all of this Juicy Couture, which I'm buying. Dun, 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 dun. Sadly, no matching sets, but you know, got the colors going on here. So those are exciting finds. And then we have this cool polo shirt. This Lululemon jacket, I think I'm gonna put back. It's $20 and it's very dated. I don't know, I think that one's gonna go back. Polo shirt, the cool sweater. This is a Nike Tech jacket, it's a men's medium. I'm gonna put that back too, it's $20. And I just don't wanna spend that much on it. But this Rel shirt is awesome. This Rel's like chambray shirt with the embroidery for $7.99. And then we still have the one shoe. This is so depressing to me. <laughs> I think we have to go look at the shoes one more time. Yeah. I typically don't buy a lot of AGLs anymore. These are kind of cute with these studs on them but I am gonna pass, I'm not gonna pick those up. I'm still obsessed with finding this stupid single shoe. I cannot believe there's not another shoe. <laughs> I mean, clearly that's probably why it's still here is because there's not a match. What are these? That is like a born shoe, that's not exciting. And yeah, those cool looking Nikes, Nike Freeze. Oh, look at this, this fashion shoe. I always have to find the fashion shoes to show you guys because they're always so ridiculous. Fashion. <laughs> so what's down here, what's this weird shoe? A croc? Look at all these Adidas, three stripes down there. The classic shell toe, they always like yellow after time. Mm -hmm. 
Ellen DeGeneres loafers, those are cool. Jeffrey Campbell's, but very basic. <laughs> Look at these lion shoes. There is some Fly Londons, which I like to buy, but I'm not gonna buy these because, ooh, somebody like drug their foot on the bottom of the ground there. These are cool Nike, um, what is this called? Fly knit. These are really cool, actually. I like these. How much are they? $20. I don't know. The back is pretty worn down. Like you can tell they ran a lot of miles in these. So I think I'm going to pass on them. Those are also just really worn. Most of the shoes I end up pass on, passing on because they're either too worn, um, outdated, or too expensive. You guys just missed the cutest thing. Hold on, I held up these shoes. So we've been talking about like low rise jeans and juicy and all that stuff going back. And I was like, Amanda, these are probably back too. And she was like, really? Hold on, I'm coming. Not back. I don't know, maybe they are. I should look it up. <laughs> I'm just going to take it up and see if they have it. Maybe yeah. they, they do have it in the back. They're bringing out so much stuff that I want to go through. This is cute. This is just like a Wilford free lace up, but not for $12.99. It's too much money for me. I'm trying to find the tag. There's no tag on that. Hi. Yeah, 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 yeah. What is this? There's like a little dog on here. Louis Castell. This feels really nice. Haha. Probably is really nice. Whenever the tag name is down here, Lewis Castell. It looks like this is pretty good. I'm gonna buy that. I don't know what I'm gonna sell it for yet, but here it is. And this is only $7.99. We're gonna buy it. TNA $7.99. This is nice. No, it's not. It's got a big stain on the front. Oops. This is very funny because Mega Burn is where Amanda works, and that's where I met her actually. It's like a small Pilates Legree studio. So the fact that Goodwill has this is very funny. There's two locations like in the world. <laughs> and here it is! Found it! Yeah, there's a ton of dated Lululemon here, like a lot. Look at how dated that is though. Vintage. They still make this shirt. Vintage? I don't know if it's vintage. That's. Oh. I like a ribbed fitted tank. Oh, you know what else is coming back? Are you ready for this one? Corduroy. Corduroy what, like overall? No, just like in general. It's back. These are not data Lulu, right? This is like a normal. Yeah, this is a grab pair of um, high rise, not a lines. What's the other one that they have? Under, under. It's boop, 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 boop. I found this Cause Dress COS, which is the like higher end of H&M. It's like a sister brand, but this stuff always does really well for me. And this is only $7.99. Lulu Swiftly Tech or whatever they're called. I'm gonna buy that. Yeah. All right, we did it. We successfully thrifted two full bags and a pair of shoes. Only one pair of shoes, sadly not two. But I'm really excited about all the stuff I got. Make sure you check out tomorrow's video for the full haul and I'll be back then. Thanks everyone. Goodbye.